Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to finally get this beer, this bottle beer, boo, 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 bottle out of the fridge. Uh, Brandon C. Sent, to me, sent me this. I can't talk right now. Brandon C. sent this to me uh, a while back and I've been selling it for a while. Uh, this is Fuller's uh, Brewing. These guys. It says formerly here on uh, Red Beer. Formerly brewed at Fuller's. Uh, I don't know exactly where. This is uh, the 2013 edition uh, bottle condition vintage ale. It's got a number on the bottle, so they're numbering each individual bottle. And this thing is sweating profusely, like a fat boy on a hot summer day. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is a retired beer, and this says here on the bottom of the barcode, best before the end of 2023. So they're giving this 10-year shelf life. Eight and a half percent alcohol on this bottle. So Brandon C. down in Texas, thanks a bunch for sending it to me. We're going to finally get to it. This should be a very tasty beer, guys. When I went to Beer Advocate, uh, they don't have individual versions of this, and they've been doing it every year for a long time. Uh, but Untapped and Rate Beer both have them listed under each year. So. Uh, and that's what you need to do. If they're doing these companies uh, are are doing the same beer year after year, the alcohol may change, the recipe may change a little bit. There's changes uh, going on all the time uh, on uh, the beers that they produce like this that are bottle conditioned, uh, and I'm sure it's not the same ABV year after year after year after year. Otherwise, it would be the same beer. Otherwise, so. Uh, let's see what this brings to the table. I'm sure this was not a cheap bottle of beer to buy uh, since it's done over in London, England. Uh, so I do appreciate Brandon C. picking this up and sending it to me. Brandon, I'm sorry I've kept it so long, but they give this beer a 10-year shelf life, so I don't think it's going to go bad. Uh, so we're going to do it today. Uh, commercial description on this says the 2013 Fuller's Vintage, our 17th edition. So they're up to 18, 19, 20, 21, 21st edition or so. Because uh, this was done in 2013 and it's 2017. They've done, they've done at least three more editions. So I don't know when, what part of the year, this is May, into May, uh, what part of the year they do this. Have they done it beginning of 2017 and maybe out already? Middle of the year, getting ready to come out, end of the year. we still got a few months to wait. Uh, says here, it's brewed with four of this year's finest hot varieties. Goldings, Sovereign, Challenger, and the trophy-winning Admiral. With a dry spring and wet summer, we have chosen a win winter barley, which, when combined with our unique yeast, gives a rich and complex result. So, sounds pretty tasty. Uh, you got to remember, the English-style hops are not that up-in-your-face, West Coast-style, real pungent. They're more earthal, earthal. Earthy, floral, and uh, herbal style of hops. So uh, it doesn't, you know, it's not supposed to taste like a West Coast an IPA or anything like that. This bit should be a, a nice balanced beer with some caramel, toppy notes, maybe a little bit of grain in there, and uh, should be a whole lot uh, going on with this beer, especially since it's at least three years old, if not four. I don't know what part of the year they come out with it. So. That's all we need to talk about there. Eight and a half percent. I don't think we have an IBU. Let me take a quick look. No, I don't have the IBU listed here. <clears throat> so, uh, 
So, let's dive in and see what we got. And they said they put the label on there and then they put another thing over top of the beer and let you know that nobody's messed with the cap. Small hiss, nice little bit of smoke. <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't seem to be super well carbonated. And I'm trying to pour this and this tablet is going crazy. Wake up. Thank you. I mean, if I don't read what's on the tablet in 20, 30 seconds, it cuts off. Crash bar. Uh, all right, let's do this again. I'm going to go down the center here. Food pairing, cheese and buttery, brie, good, I've already Swiss, general digestive, glass for the fine becker, non autumnal snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter today, guys, and can be sold for a long period of time. Now you can cut off. You little piece of shit. Mmm. I got a tickle in my throat. I need to drink a beer. Alright. About a half finger of head on that. It is a cloudy, murky brown color. Uh, not a light coming through the big bulb part of the glass up here, but I can't see some light down here on the fan part. Let's get a nose to it. Very sweet on the back end. Smells a lot like a barley wine. Now this is an old ale. <clears throat> so a lot of times they will smell very similar to a barley wine. Big sweetness on the back end. Caramel, topping, maybe a little brown sugar. Hints of some dark fruit, raisin, dates, plums, figs. A little bit of breadiness, not a huge hop aroma, it's more the earthy, floral, European style hop. Uh, smells very good uh, for an old ale at 8.5%. Smells just like I would expect it to smell. And like I said, this beer will keep for a long, long time. They're giving it a 10-year shelf life. Wouldn't surprise me if it'll keep 15 or 20 years. Well, let's dive in. Smells like a... Uh, lighter version of a barley wine being an old ale. So, cheers everybody. Cheers Brandon. Ooh. There is some alcohol in the taste though. Wasn't getting it on the nose, but I am getting a little booze in this. On the taste. Big caramel and toffee notes. That is absolutely delicious. That is absolutely freaking delicious. Wow. These guys don't 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 make anything bad as far as I've I've had or I've heard. They make beers like this that you can pick up and coming across the pond, I'm sure they're a little on the pricey side, but you're getting quality. And you're getting something that you can sell her 3, 5, 10, 15, even 20 years. Uh, a very nice, uh, well-made old ale. I mean, these guys, I say these guys have been brewing beer for a long, 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 long time. So, uh, and i got a feeling the alcohol is going to subside a little bit. Fresh out of the fridge, just open up the bottle. Once it opens up and the breeze it starts coming to room temperature, Got a feeling the alcohol will subside a little bit, but when I come back for the final chug, I'll tell you whether I think it has or not. <clears throat> so uh, let's do that. Go out there and uh, sip on it for a while, let her taste it, and maybe even fire up a cigar to go with it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just a little left. Very well made beer. The alcohol has subsided. Very easy drinking. Uh, it was a little boozy when I first opened it up, but now that it's come up to room temperature, been sipping on it. I'm not getting that big alcohol notes at all. Very, very tasty beer, guys. Almost to the barley wine scale, the old ales and the barley wines, especially when they've been aged for a while. Very similar. But I am getting some dark fruits, maybe some apricots. Uh, a nice grain bill to this. Uh, uh, it's not malty, super malty or anything like that. 
Uh, it's very delicious. It is very delicious. A nice sweetness to the beer. Uh, I enjoy this. This is a great beer to seller. This is a prime candidate to seller. Pick it up, put it in the fridge, three, five, ten years, or even longer. Uh, it's very, very nice. And I don't know if I'd have done this in 2013. I haven't had it that long. Uh, I, I may have had it. I may have had it a year, uh, six, eight months, twelve months. Brandon sent it to me. I don't recall when he did send it to me, but he did. So Brandon, once again, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate it. And sorry for taking so long to get it reviewed, but. Uh, with a 10 year shelf life that they're giving it and I'm thinking it's going to last a little longer than that that's why I kept it a little bit longer and I thought well it's time to get it out so uh, and I'm glad I did it's very very tasty it is a very very tasty vintage ale old ale I bought it, I would buy the spear guys it's very very tasty I don't know what it costs to buy here or what Brandon paid for it I don't have that information I don't think it's a cheap beer to buy, but it is a great beer to buy. Buy two of them. Drink one now. Sell them one for 5, 10, 15 years or longer. And, and according to what I'm seeing here, they do this beer every year. So it would be a great one to do a side-by-side. -side. Do a 2013 and a 2014. See if you notice any difference. Or a 2013 and a 2016. Do them side-by-side. -side. See if you can tell any difference in how the beer has matured over a while. So, delicious. Final show. Delicious, so smooth now. Not getting those alcohol notes whatsoever. Kind of easy drinking for it, eight and a half percent. Now that it's warmed up, was a little boozy right out of the bottle when it was uh, out of the fridge. But right now, very very smooth, almost like a like a like a liquor. Very nice, guys. To me, nine out of ten. Only, only thing I can say to make this beer better. Let's put it in a bourbon barrel for a little while. Yeah, that'll kick it up a notch or three or twelve. But it is very, very tasty. An awesome beer. A very well-made beer. Uh, you need to pick this up if you can get it. Give it a try. If you haven't had it, uh, this is a 2013 edition. I doubt you're going to find one of those still sitting on the shelf. But like I said, Brandon picked this up. I haven't had it longer than a year, I'm pretty sure. So he was able to find one of those. He, you may still see one of these sitting on the shelf, even an older one, a 2011 or 2012 maybe. I don't know. So uh, if you do, pick it up. I guarantee you're not going to be disappointed. It's a very smooth drinking old ale. These guys do some pretty tasty stuff. 9 out of 10, like I said, for me, guys, the numeric rating on this one would probably be at 95. That's where I'm going to put it. Let's go over to uh, Bear Advocate. Bear Advocate says 93 outstanding. I agree with that. It is an outstanding beer. Over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer shows 95 overall and 99 in the style. Excellent numbers from those guys. Two A numbers. Three, you can click count what I'm saying. And our final check in, we run over to Untapped. They have it at 3.93, which is in their B plus range. I think it's a little better than that. This is one of the few times I'm going to disagree with Untapped. I think this is an A beer, guys. And they're the only ones that say that it's a B beer out of the three that I go to. So, I do think it's an A beer. And I, I think it's not an A minus. I think it's a solid A. Like I said, uh, I don't think they do a bourbon barrel version of this. I may be mistaken on that. That's the only thing I could say that would make it even better. And if you tell me if this beer is a 10 beer, oh my God, I would not argue with that. It is a very, very tasty beer. So, if you've had the 2013 edition of the Fuller's Vintage Ale, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.